Hey Sim Racers, Todd Bettenhausen here once again, and uh, it's a pretty big moment for me. Uh, those of you who follow me in the iRacing Hardware Forum know that I've decided to go to a three projector setup. It's a big step, a lot of planning here, and uh, we have an NEC NPV260X projector here. It does not have a gaming mode. 1024 by 768 DLP, and what we're doing here is a subjective input lag test. You can see my test setup here. Got my club sport wheel. My recent PC. Set of pedals here so the sim doesn't complain. And we're looking at the Delara at Indy. The sim is uncapped. Most graphic options are maxed out. Seeing about 300 frames per second, maybe a little bit less. So, uh, this is pretty much all we got. So I'm going to have Carrie get behind me there. And if you can, Carrie, look right through the top of the wheel, right above the tuning menu display so that you can see the driver's hands on the screen. And I'm going to go turn out the room lights. And we're going to do a little very unscientific input lag test here. Again, the sim is uncapped. Got everything in there, Carrie? Ready? Go ahead. I have to I have to raise it up above the wheel because the uh, exposure meter on the camera was pretty much whiting out the screen. Very unscientific. <laughs> Trying to hold down this cardboard box here. I have to say, I'm pretty pleased. For a projector without a game mode, I think we're in business. So. Next thing you guys will be seeing out of me is how my cockpit's going to be reconfigured for optimization for sim vibe and a three projector environment. I'm going to set these up in rear projection. Everything will be hidden behind the screens. Speakers, projectors, subwoofer. No computer stuff in my cockpit. We're going to see a lot of the inside of the car with three four to three displays. Probably all the way down near to the pedals and the wheel is just going to be floating out in front of the screens. So there we have it. See you next time.